Hello everyone, welcome back to year two on No Man's Land. Now we ended up the last one uh, mowing off all that grass of that second plot that we kind of accidentally had to buy. It was pretty unintentional, so here I am. I've mowed it all and I've whacked it into this silage pit. I've got an awful lot of grass here now, so it's it's good. It, you know, it's going to be bonus money. That's always a good thing, but yeah, a lot of unexpected work happened to happen here. That's the pit full, you have to tidy up the overspill stuff and uh, put, put the rest of that back into the forage wagon. Now I'm at the shop at the minute because I intend to turn the rest of this stuff into hay, so I've just bought myself a rake and also a bale spike as well. So back in the field again, and you can see there's a lot of grass in here still, so this is all going to get tossed up and uh, then wrecked up and made into hay. I'm in the baler now and on my little fate tractor, uh, got up the top of the hill, turned the thing on and yes, yeah, she doesn't move. Nowhere near enough power for this. Oh well, uh, I'm going to have to look at loose leaf hay for this stuff then, but it's getting late on the day so I'll feed the chickens, call it a night, we're starting to lose the light anyway, so quick, quick sleep and back up again tomorrow. Right, as I'm needing the forage wagon now, I'll just dump out that chaff uh, and go and lift, lift this loose hay. Problem being, I'm also running a thing called Rain P in here as well, it's a bit more of a realistic mod, and as it's rained overnight, all my hay has got wet again and turned back into grass. So which means I've got a lot of grass now. Um, to use some of this, I'm going to place what I thought was a sheep pen, but it's actually a sheep pen that does sheep and goats as well. So, well, if I can do goats, I'll do goats. Yeah, never had these before. So here we go, got myself a few goats, they eat some grass, let's get that poured out into that. And the rest of this grass I'm going to lift now. The silage pit's full, it's overflowing, so get silage pit number two then I guess um, I'm kind of making this up as I go along in the minute because I wasn't expecting to have any of this at all so on we go on again a lot of grass up here I'll get it lifted you don't need to sit and watch all of that stick a bit more in with the goats as well just trying to get rid of as much of this stuff as I can at the minute So again, same with this pit as well now, just tidying up the bits that spill out the side off it, try and get it uh, compressed down again, and get it ready to throw the cover on. There we go, that's that one wrapped up as well. It'll take a couple of days, but that's a lot of silage there, it's going to be a lot of money. Some flowers are still going well in the greenhouse, take it down and sell a load off them. I've brought the water tank down with me as well, as I want to actually swap that one out. I can afford to at the minute, I've got a bit of money, and with the... I was going to say sheep, but actually goats. We're going to need a bigger water tanker now, so I'll let this one here it holds about 10,000 litres. That's a pretty good upgrade. I got myself some feed for the chicken as well, because as we know, they always need food in this thing. So put a couple of thousand litres of water in the tank, drop that off to the goats, and then nip round and give this green to the chickens. A few eggs ready for collection as well, so happy days. That's bringing in a few pounds again. I'll go down and get the rest of my sunflowers. Take a trip back down to the shop with eggs and sunflowers. That'll bring us in a few thousand pounds. Last bit of wood chips as well. Now, these are often little spindly trees. They went round and uh, kind of thinned out in the forest. So this should be my last trailer of wood chips. Got a couple of thousand or so for that. But now we're back again, take these cribs off the trailer, and because we don't more wood chip to do, I can actually get rid of the chipper again now as well. So that's going to go back to the shop and get a few thousand pounds back for this, hopefully. There we go, happy days. And because I've sold that, harvest isn't long away, so I'm going to have to reinvest that money in a new combine harvester. I'll get the header as well. Don't think I need a header trailer. There's no tight lands in this one, so should be fine to drive around with the header on. Get her parked up at the side of the field, ready for hopefully next month I think this crop should be ready. Now this field up here, I want to kind of just take a bit more ground. With all this excess grass around, I don't need more grass, I don't need more silage. Um, we'll just widen this field out a little bit. I'll leave a bit of a grass strip down between so just I'm not wasting crop and we'll tidy it up after the harvest. There we go, just wrapping up the last bits of this one now. It's probably made that field a good 20-25% bigger. 
and cross into the new pasture oh, just as the end screen kicks in as well guys that's five minutes up for today but yeah just go on in the background and i shall start tilling up all this ground as well get myself a couple of new big fields here hopefully right see you all shortly bye now